Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm German. Frankly, apologize for that. And here's another game from my childhood. Today, it's Hostages, which is a title of Infogrames. They seem to have been very active in the late 80s. You might know the NES title Rescue the Embassy. It's actually the same game, though we have the Amiga 500 version. But the gameplay was the same, the graphics were rather different, and so was the music, but it was the same, the same game, actually. The story is that some evil terrorists um, took over an embassy and took four hostages. You're playing a troop of six SWAT forces whose mission is to save the hostages, kill the terrorists and not get killed themselves while trying. So yeah, sounds pretty easy. What you see now is the first sequence of the game where you have to set up your snipers. They are used to um, shoot the terrorists through the windows of the embassy. Um, you can hide your snipers in windows or some doors around the embassy and you have to to dodge those spotlights you see here because when the terrorists see you in the dark they start shooting at you. Whenever you're hiding in a door or a window you can look on the map and then you'll see if your your current sniper is at one of the axes marked here. In that case he is so I can continue with my second sniper and place him on the other position which is a little f more behind than the first one was so if you want to place all three snipers successfully you really have to <laughs> be good at dodging. I'm afraid I won't be so successful here but I already placed one sniper and that's sufficient to at least get to the next part so let's just see if I can place a second one so now I can Look, no, it's a few steps behind where I'm currently at. So let's get to the next point. Okay, I set up the second sniper and let's see what we do with Mike. These forces are all named after the um, NATO alphabet. So it's Delta, Echo, Mike and in the following you'll get a second troop of three people think the names of Foxtrot, Tango and Hotel and they're used to infiltrate. They climb down um, the the outer wall of the embassy and have to get through the windows to infiltrate the building, shoot the snipers, you then get some kind of first trials of first person, uh, first person shooters which look pretty nice <laughs> and are pretty fun to play somehow. Okay, so now I was too much in the spotlight and so he got killed. However, I have two snipers placed and thus I can continue to the next sequence. So now with the two snipers placed around the building we get our helicopter which drops uh, three other people from the SWAT force on the roof. Okay, so this is the next part, uh, the second of three parts, where I can either use my snipers to shoot evil terrorists or otherwise I use the additional three forces to rope down the wall, get into the building, kill some terrorists and look for the um, <coughs> hostages. So I just start um, by using one of my snipers. So you see, I can look through the windows if anybody is seen there. Seems to be no one home. Where are the terrorists? I want to shoot. So nobody home. Let's look at the other wall with my second sniper. Maybe I find some shadows behind the windows here. Ah, uh, come on. So here is one. So this could be either a hostage or a terrorist. Um, I don't care. I'll just shoot this guy. Oh. <laughs> Stupid enough. <laughs> he hears uh, three shots and still stands at the window. Let's kill this other guy too. And you're dead as well. Oh. 
So there were two shadows. I killed one of those. I hope I killed the terrorist because usually when you see two shadows, it's a terrorist guarding a hostage. So I either killed the hostage or the terrorist. I killed you too. And now let's get to my infiltrators. I have this guy climbing down the wall now. The controls here are <laughs> really hard and if you're clicking something, yeah, if you're clicking the wrong keys in the wrong combination, this is going to, going to happen. Uh, he'll drop down and dies. So this guy's dead now. Just wanted to show you. And let's take another one, Tango. So let's get into here. And this is now the third part. Where you see, oh, it looks like first person shooter and I can shoot something in the wall. And the controls while shooting are really difficult. So when when you're facing a terrorist and have to act quickly, it can be really difficult to aim. So, kill another one. Oh, so many of them. And on the left is a map. Okay, now I was killed. Uh, he was quicker than me, so you cannot see the map, which I just wanted to talk about. Asshole terrorist. So, I just get my last guy involved. So, on the left, you see a map, and there are yellow dots, which mark terrorists, and white dots, which mark hostages. And now I just kill this crappy guy, and go here so you see this is a hostage and now I take him with me and have to drop him in one special room without windows on the top floor but I see this room is a little bit guarded so kill him kill this kill him kill this guy too and there's another terrorist coming so now I dropped off the, uh, the host uh, hostage in this windowless room and also killed all the terrorists on this floor. So there's another one who was guarding a hostage. So this hostage is now standing on the stairs. I'll just bring him to his good colleague too. So now I have two or four hostages rescued and have to look on the bottom floor for the last ones. Oh no, I'm finished, because I killed all terrorists, and if I killed all terrorists, you either have to kill all terrorists or save all the hostages. And so now you get um, the final um, yeah, statement. These are the news of tomorrow. The intervention was not successful because um, not all... Yeah, Oh no, I, I now read all of the hostages have been freed, so I did not shoot any hostage the, through the window. However, three team members died. Also dead are the terrorists, but um, well, <laughs> whoever um, is looking for danger gets into it. But um, that's basically the game. So now I get back to the, um, to the infiltration sequence and can just start over. In the, at the very beginning, you could um, choose different modes, like um, if you only want a mode where you, your goal is to shoot all the terrorists, or there are modes where you um, should not kill anybody, just save the hostages, if so. And there are other modes, like training, where you don't really... Um, where no hostages are in this um, building and another mode where you're playing against uh, the clock where you don't really have much time to save it and you also have three difficulty levels and they really um, succeeded in bringing some balancing into this because uh, the easy mode is really easy enough and the hard mode is a tough one so let's get to my final statement uh, the idea of this game is great i give five points <laughs> because um, this is not just an um, action game platformer where oh, hostages go there and oh, there are terrorists, shoot those terrorists. Um, I think the developers really thought of how, how such an intervention could actually happen and 
you have to to face the different phases of this you first have to place your snipers and get organized and then you can get into the building and try to free the hostages so five points for the idea because i think they really did did a good job here i give four points um, for the realization because I think um, it looks good, it has good sound, it has uh, neat music. You don't have so much different pieces here, but um, yeah, still what what you get from the music and the sound is good in my opinion. Uh, what I don't like so much are the controls, especially at this sequence, the controls are really a pain in the ass. And when you're shooting, you can you could, I remember you nearly broke your joystick and still um, the machine gun did not move. And this is really annoying. However, um, they did a good job bringing a good idea to a neat game. For the overall fun, I'd like to give um, also five points. This is a short game and I could <laughs> just like to play it in between because you're finished after 10 minutes and you had your fun and then it's okay and I could play it over and over again I don't know how much times I finished this game and uh, still it's very much fun I think so five points for the overall fun and I can absolutely recommend this game you should try it um, if you don't have an Amiga emulator or you don't trust the Amiga, then at least um, download Rescue the Embassy for the NES and try the NES version. It's quite similar to this one. I think it even has the better controls, so this would maybe have gotten um, five points for the realization too. Well, however, the graphics are not so good in the NES version. So that's it for today. I have some interesting facts, but I totally ran out of time, so see ya.